Hello, Aternum, and welcome to KOTT News, Aternum's number one source for news. And this is the War Report. Dynamic change in the history of Aternum last night as the syndicate members of Fresh Bench expand their swamp holdings into Reek Water. And the syndicate members of Tropical re-secure the southern observation posts of the Cutlass Keys. Light infrastructure repairs required in Twillin and Far Harbor this afternoon for any daywalkers looking for a mission board to grind reputation. But if you're not involved in the wars tonight, be on the lookout for opportunities to defend against the corruption minions across 40% of the island. Four lineups submitted for simulated fantasy combat resolution tonight, brought to you by LARPCO! Remember, if it isn't LARPCO, it's cardboard. Up first, the Marauders of Emotional Damage challenge the champs of JDB's Kitchen for their heavyweight title and the right to rule over Everfall. The challengers of emotional damage always seem to strike when the striking is hot. But will tonight be their night to knock out the champs? JDB's kitchen staff preparing three simultaneous defenses tonight. But will they risk their never fall run satisfied with a three-way tie for third? Meanwhile, the covenant hero worshippers of outcasts attack the syndicate members of JDB's kitchen for control of the arid desert region of Brimstone Sands. Outcasts standing their ground on the bluff last night regain some confidence and push back against the syndicate influence on the island. But JDB's kitchen is not likely to let their attention drift from this fight. Triple declare notwithstanding, they're unlikely to ignore this matchup. Also, the zealots of Daddy Chill assail the syndicate members of Deathmarked Reincarnated for control of the hardly controllable Restless Shore. In the spotlight fight of the night, Daddy Chill returned from the historical archives nearly a year to the day that they were knocked off the mud hill. But will this fight be televised? Deathmarked reincarnated with the responsibility of governing two regions, have the good fortune of being engaged in only one defense, with a former great house, seeking to renew its glory. Simultaneously, the citrus haters of Waffle House Company attack the syndicate members of JDB's kitchen for control of the recently settled region of Eden Grove. Armed with their last remaining waffle batter, Waffle House Company march up to Eden Grove, hoping to set up shop adjacent uncontrolled Aeternum. JDB's Kitchen will have the luxury of deciding their defenses, but with no roster as yet submitted, they're keeping their personal priorities close to the vest. We'll have any late-breaking outcomes and reactions from the citizens tonight at 11 until then. This has been War Correspondent John Chalant, KOTT News.